live from the command center of the GW Solar USA. Back again with the project with the 18650 battery made by Panasonic from Battery Hookup. So guys, you've seen some few video series I'm compiling here for you guys to see. And uh, I spent a video before this, that was yesterday, and we have the batteries here. It has a handle and we can able to put a lock or a wire tie on this so nobody can get into it like kids or anything for safety reason a little padlock you know a lock safety lock so let's go in dive in and see what is going on here this is the battery pack i'm just trying to create or i'm putting together with um eggshell sound sound soundproof uh, materials and I'm trying to put together here so guys this is so how far I've gone and what I'm gonna do I'm thinking about getting to the other box that uh, I started the project with first check this out if we can recap you can see how I designed this um, box that I painted I told you it came from like a radio station or studio and this was like a rack for uh, electrical equipment or musical equipment and i uh, already mounted the magnum this is a 600 watt magnum uh, pure sine wave in inverter 12 volt and i'm thinking about transferring the batteries in here trying to make something safer and more room because it seems like this one is getting all packed up and tight so if we decide to transfer these guys here to this box right here i think it would be more safer and more um um durable and i'm gonna put some casting wheels on this and before we go further with this i got some other new things i was gonna show you i went to the cities and get some stuff that i'm gonna be um putting these batteries in parallel so that they can work way better for us like and subscribe jw solar usa stay tuned for more to come I can subscribe. All right, guys, we're back again. Um, this is what I went um, at the store for. Um, I get went to uh, went there and got as a eighteen gauge wire AWG because if you look at the wires right here on the batteries, it tend to be. Um, let me grab one and show you. Um, they are smaller wires. So in comparison, they are almost the same. And these ones are even bigger. The ones, the 18 gauges are probably going to be whatever, 21 gauge or something. They are smaller. So I'm going to be using this, cutting off this uh, plug, tie the positive to the positive, negative to the negative. So I'm going to use these guys and I'm going to utilize them. I'm going to use this as a connector, a branch connector for the paralleling and i'm gonna use that like let, 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 let's just say this side after cutting this plug right here tie them to the positive negative here and i'm gonna have two leads out and this lead's gonna go here okay i use one's gonna come on this side and I, i'm gonna get another one and goes here goes to the negative side so what I'm going to do, I'm going to link all these guys first, all the positives on different batteries, four of them here to these guys. Or I can stack them, two batteries, which is 6.6 uh, .6 amps per battery. So uh, 12 amps, I think um, this guy can handle it because if you look at the inside, I don't know if you can see, it's a thick metal. At a store, I saw one that was broken. I was going to show you. I don't want to buy a broken one and utilize it for the video because it doesn't make no sense because I have to pay for it. So um, trust me, this one can be able to handle uh, approximately 12, um, 12 gauge, uh, 12 amps. But I can see that's why I bought enough, six of them. It only cost me $1.50 for these guys here. So I'm going to do this, get all each battery, like four of them, 
parallel in them this way here here and there so leaving this other spot here i'm going to find other wires here maybe using a number 10 gauge from this side going to like a string of them then i'm gonna put them together and solder the ends of it and put it together into a, a terminal and crimp it so since this guy is going to be just taken individually the batteries are here you can see the specifications there the battery is just only 14.4 uh, you can go um 16.8 but we can able to drive uh 6.6 .6 milli 6600 6, milliamp hours to get into this which is a 6 amp so 6 amp on each terminal so these ones are not connected all like a bus bar they are like a single single bus bar so it's going to come out here and we're going to combine after that we can combine all the positives here that is coming out with all um 10 10 10 gauge or maybe lower um then i can able a 12 gauge put them together you know join them together and put them into a battery terminal and crimp it make it one going to the battery bus bar so we're going to be bringing all the power from each battery from this terminal here goes in here grab another one goes in the deposit grab another one and there and there and we already combine do a combiner a strip or combiner whatever you call it and we're going to take from here now output and make some uh, kind of a bigger wire driving the power out put it together combine it and put it into a battery terminal and goes to a bus bar for the positive side so i'm going to be utilizing since we have about 20 batteries on that case so we have eight four holes on each and four holes on the other one so if we have it here i can able to use one string or another one of this so i can get six of them for a reserve capacity so i can able to do this in the near future if i had more batteries here so it's going to be a lot of bunch of little cables or wires and 10 on this side 10 on the other one so we can have a safer and uh a better way of transporting power from one end to the other and i grabbed one of these which i found really interesting which is um uh, anderson connector it has this kind of little pull down a little bit maybe i can able to take this one and reposition this wire or maybe the way they installed was kind of longer so and i can use this side for quick disconnect see what i'm saying it's going to be a quick disconnect which I can just pull. It's not that easy to pull it, but it's gonna happen eventually. So it's Anderson connector. It's a beefy heavy duty thing. So I can able to repair this side here if possible and push this one back in. And that will be my quick disconnect for the batteries to connect from the box itself to wherever boss bar is gonna go that's a quick disconnect so i just think it's kind of neat i got this one for i think it's for two dollars so it's old but i can able to put wires from this side and go about anything i want to do so i just decided to show you guys i hope you find this video interesting and from there and we're gonna able start to do some connections here on the next video oh uh, I later even found this one. This boss bar was looking for some two of these, but it's scattered everywhere, which is can be 350 amps bus bar, and it can handle up to about 600 volt, uh, 600 volt. So I th it doesn't even matter. Even give it a torque pound of it. It's uh, assembled in Mexico, and um, 
guys this would have been a perfect uh deal so you can take uh a four six say you number 10 number 14 see that I'm trying to focus that so we can go about doing whatever we want to use as a, a negative boss bar that we're going to say, I, I wish I, I would have found, find another one of these so it can be the positive negatives. I can take all these wires because they are, I think, on the advertisement or whatever they have on the display um, of the place there. I think these are 20, 20 inches or 2 feet long, something like that. But I'm not too sure. So I can able to cut this wire. That's why I bought 10. I have 20 batteries here. So I bought 10. Um, looking at the proximity from here to there. So it's a pretty long wire. So maybe I can just untangle one of them and show you what I'm talking about here. But um, it's pretty, it's pretty long. I can able to... I'm utilizing... See? It's long. So let's see from this side here. I hope you can see that on the video on the camera. It's pretty long. So I decided not to buy um or 20 of them. I just bought 10. So I can cut it in the middle. So I can have um they can cover 10 wires I bought right here can give me 20, can serve me for 20 batteries. So that's what I'm gonna do. And uh, I was going to utilize this. If I can find the other one, I can take all the positives in here. I will take all the negative, negatives on this other, other one if I would have found one of these. And that, that's a pretty neat thing, heavy duty. You can just bolt it all the way in. And I can use this side here, which I can able to utilize. I think it's number two. Yeah, it says right there. Uh, you can see it right there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, maybe you can see it now. But you can utilize number two hot cable. I think so. That's what I saw there. So you can able to utilize number two. Uh, sorry, number two. I think it's a two slash. Yeah, two slash zero. Two hot cable can fit in this one. So we can able to take... This one would have gone to the positives um, and the negatives on the bus bars because they're heavy duty. When you charging, they can send a big wire coming in from the charge controller or from the inverter, uh, inverter charger and penetrate it all the way here and distributed the power evenly from the little um, terminals here going to the batteries. So I would have stacked like each hole on this one. I can probably grab all. I can do in, in twos. I probably can do like two from this. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Or I can do three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. Whatever I want to do. Or four, eight, twelve. Four, eight, twelve. I can just stack all these little guys here. You know, like this. Put them together. All the positives. It's plenty room. I can able to stack almost 10 of them here on one terminal because this thing can take up to what 300 amps so 350 yeah 350 amps right there so it would have been great and i can stack all the power here instead of using these guys here so i decided to get this for the next project maybe something i want to utilize in the future oh uh, i don't know i was gonna take this one if even if i would have got this um metal here uh, uh tin plated copper and i can able to utilize it really well i have one on my solar pv combiner box but i'm not gonna ruin that just because of this block i'm not doing that so i'll keep this one or i can utilize this one as well and use these guys for positive or negative so i can use or i can use these ones for the blue wires the blue wires are the sensing wires are sensors uh, sorry, sensors for um, temperature sensors, that's the word. And um, I can able to drive them to these guys here. So that's why I end up buying uh, a pair, a three pair of these guys. And I can able to utilize them 
the way I want. But I think what I'm going to do, I'll transport the batteries in here. I'm thinking about adding more batteries since I have a 20 in that box. Then I still have to check the five that's now probably working and see if I can get them going. Or if I have to break the pack and rebuild them, maybe I have to. I buy some from Battery Hookup. And I can utilize the BMS built in into this. Oh, before I go, I made a mistake reading these batteries here. But someone just uh, corrected me. But I realized my mistake what I just said because I read the date backwards. Because some of the batteries can see the 03 2020. And some of them was uh, marked uh, reverse for proxy. I think it's for international. Yeah, there we go. That's a good example right here. So, you know how we read things in America. So, they have the, the year first. The year came first and the month and the date. So, the... Uh, so he mentioned that uh, there are three ways of reading dates or writing dates in America, but we go with the the month first. Uh, sorry, we go with the month, the date, and the year. So this one starts from the year, the month, and date, a reverse. Mostly international write the dates like that as well. So different different countries has different kind of uh, 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 formats of writing things so this is the project um this video has already gone too long but i'm gonna be transporting these guys here to make it uh, more you know i can use a, a wood after putting the batteries on the bottom here a plywood i can cut exactly that size then i can just put it something like that the plywood can sit on top of the batteries if i can able to fill up this entire room here but I have to check how many batteries going to sit here. But well, maybe let's go over, go ahead and try right now and see how many batteries that we can able to fit on this bad boy here. And maybe that will give me a clear idea how much batteries I need to fill up this entire cabinet. And that will be a solid system. And uh, I can able to utilize the inverter that is already. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four and four, eight. So, if I mark this one, approximately four inches or three and a half inches, inch long. So, if I keep going like this, I can tell. Is another eight that's 16 another eight here so we go 24 and yeah yeah eight 16 so we go back 16 I think in another 16 right here so 32 batteries then we can have space here the back side for the uh, the bus bars, either or whatever I want to do, or I can leave a space in the middle so I can put this plywood can sit on top of this and jam right here, and all the stuff in the center that's gonna be the bus bars or where these guys come to play in the middle, set them just like that in the middle for each batteries to be hooked up, okay. So let's see. I think we got it figured out, guys. So I hope this video helps. It's a long video. Sorry about that. Like and subscribe, JW Solo USA. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. This is going to be the next video in the series.